Pat and Linda Velasco brought in their 56 Continental. And what we're doing with this car is Pat wants to build a nice car for Linda. So he's actually in the process of restoring a really nice one back in their house in Minnesota. He had three cars that he bought to build one nice one. He had one in the back and he says, hey, why don't we build this for Linda, but let's modify it. And one of the things I said to him, I said, why don't we cut the top off? So as you saw in the drawing, there's no top. So we'll probably cut that top off today while you're here. But we also modified the headlights. I thought the headlights looked like really bug-eyed on this car. They came out almost flat, hardly any roll at all coming down. They've got a chrome trim that goes on the front of it, but we've pulled those back five eighths of an inch and we've dropped them down about three eighths of an inch. So it's got a little lead in now. It dropped out or pulled back so it doesn't look so bug eyed. We're slightly modifying the bumpers. Of course, we put the LS motor in it, but all the suspension is the original suspension. We changed the spindles to get the car down a little bit more and we've put big brakes on it. Of course, nice uh, master cylinder and Everything on the inside of the car is going to be brand new. And as you come around, we also changed the body line on the wheel well, the front wheel well. This came out and it was really wide in the front and it kind of had an odd feeling. Did the same thing in the rear. We're going to modify the, uh, we'll get rid of the door locks. We'll keep the door handles, but we'll just use a remote to unlock the car. Next thing we've got to do is start cutting the top off. I've already taken and cut the spare tire cover. We dropped that down about three inches. So I'm finishing welding that up. And then I also radius the deck lid corners. Now we're reworking the whole rear bumper. We've cut this so that they don't stick out quite as far as they do originally. We've trimmed that down. We've narrowed it up a little bit. Just trying to what I call tailor the car so it looks really cool. Now the back seat we're going to use a Thunderbird seat that's a wraparound seat from a 65 Thunderbird. Can't wait to get in there and start fitting all that, but I got to get the top out of the way. So when Pat and Linda brought the car in, there really wasn't much of a direction from them. They just said, build a cool car. And it was my idea to cut the top off. They liked that idea. We don't know yet whether we're going to put an actual top on it or a lift off top or leave it a full time roadster. That's a discussion we'll have to have, but I want to get it out of the way before we have it. Originally on the Continental, the spare tire sits right in here and they fit the deck lid around the spare tire. Now this bump was another three inches taller. It had this really radical lift up, but to me it looked so large, it was kind of out of place. So what I did is I trimmed the whole edge off first, dropped that down to where I liked it. Then I cut the whole back section out and then we built this piece and we're finally welding that in. I've got almost all of it done. I've got about, uh, about 24 inches to weld, and then I just got to finish metal finishing it and uh, getting it all cleaned up. But I want to leave all these factory stock emblems and you know the pieces where it says Continental, but I just wanted to bring that down so it's a lot cleaner. When you get the top off of this car, that top kind of minimized this, but without the top, this was going to look like it was really just a kind of a sore thumb sticking up. So we pulled it down. It's going to look a lot more elegant in this configuration.
Cody's bringing over the collector for these exhaust manifolds because the exhaust is going to come up, go into this collector, and then we'll have one tube that goes out because the original exhaust went through the wheel wells. So we've got to bring it down through there and then it'll drop through that inside wheel well and connect to the exhaust pipe that's in the rocker of this car. That's how it was designed and built originally and we're going back to that same exact configuration even though it's no longer the Lincoln motor it now has an LS3 motor in it but we're going to put the continental valve covers on it so it still looks like it could be the original motor in the car. It's one of those deceiving things but it'll run and work better than it ever did before. It's all modern, it's all new, but it's going to look old. So what Cody has mocked up is the exhaust is going to come out, come into this collector, and then from the side here, it'll drop through the wheel well that tube will follow through the wheel well here and connect right here where we've got the exhaust tube coming. So all that's got to be fit. When it's all finished, running the original valve covers on the LS motor, it's going to look like the original Continental motor. It looked a lot worse than it actually was. It, I mean, well, you can see this. Yeah. Everything looked like that. We didn't clean this up because I knew I was cutting it off. So. That's what I'm going to look at right now is where I'm going to cut it. Everything looked like that. You can see like the cracks and different things. You can see where the cracks were still on the metal because it stained it. When I'm cutting the top off, what I'm thinking about is what do I need to save to finish it so that it doesn't look like a car that you just cut the top off. It needs to look like it was built this way from the factory. So I already know I want to save this drip rail line here. So I'll cut the skin in front of that. I'll end up building something to finish it off on the inside. And then in the rear, basically I'll, I'll cut through here and get just the skin. And then later I'll come back in and cut away what I need to cut away on the inside. But for right now, I'm going to cut away just what I need to get away at this surface get everything off above that. up and figure out how I'm going to finish all that. So a lot of it is see what the moldings look like and then figure out how I finish this so it looks looks nice when it's all done.
have to cut sections out of this and then weld it because this is pinched and welded. So I'll cut a section out, leave a piece, cut a section out, weld those solid pieces, then cut the other ones and then weld that in. Probably just this front drip rail piece. Or I'll make a new metal piece, it's all chrome. But I want to put the windshield and I'll have all the trim on it and look at it before I know what I'm going to do to finish it. I've always said that this is not the artwork, the car is the actual artwork. This is just the tools to communicate what we were doing on the car and all final decisions are based upon the car itself. So before we got the car here, I did a few drawings to show Pat and Linda what my thoughts were. But as we're building it, this is basically just the theme. But as we're building it, I'll adjust even on the car a little further or make it even more refined. But the original spare tire cover, this thing is giant. And when you pull the top off the car, you know, the top is fairly tall which when you've got something that's really tall up over that spare tire cover, it doesn't look as bad as it would have had we have just taken the top off and left that way up high. So you can see there's a little line here. We cut that down almost three inches to make it look a little smaller. And now when you have the top off of the car, it still looks like it's pretty big, but it's you know less than half of what it was. Now the bumpers, you can see here, they were, they were longer. And what I did is, we're cutting the end of it off, pulling it back, and then narrowing both sides to that so that the bumpers won't stick out as far as they did. Uh, the headlights, you can see here we cut, we pulled the headlights back, and then we dropped them down to get a little more lead in. Those headlights are almost dead flat off the top of that fender, and to me they needed a little bit of lead in before the light itself, so we pulled them back and dropped them down just a little bit. And it's all about subtleties. I don't want to slap somebody in the face with what we're doing to the car. I want people to walk up to the car and say, I don't remember this car being that beautiful. They need to discover what we've done. Another subtle thing is in the front fender, that line came and it was really far forward. Originally, I was just going to pull it back a little bit, but we went ahead and pulled it back so it's almost even around that. It just opens up a little bit. I think it looks much nicer much more refined. And then the other thing, I didn't do a drawing here, but as we were looking at the car, originally I was thinking of changing the rear fender line to go with it. Instead of moving the line, we moved the wheel well itself. And it seems to have done exactly what I wanted it to do. But as I said, the decisions are based on the car. That's the artwork. This is just a tool to get that done.